Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be putting a jet kit and just checking over the carbs in general when we have them out here. I've got the Ivan's carburetor tuning kit. It's the one for openings for full exhaust and the air filter modification. So you need to make sure you have that done. I did some of that in an earlier video. Otherwise, just get the stage one normal one. So go ahead and open that and take a look at the instructions first. All right, so quite a bit of paperwork in here. So, I'm gonna read through these real quick. Also, since I have the 2004, um, it'll have this 2003 and up model supplement, so I need to read that. Then there's another one for additional bypass holes, so I need to read that too. So, uh, give me just a second here. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is I'll go ahead and take the uh, float bowls off of it. Of course, the first step of that is just gonna be removing these hoses here. Uh, I'll just pull the little clips up out of the way. Okay, up next I'm going to go ahead and remove this right here. One thing that's really helpful here is to make sure you have good screwdrivers that fit in there, not some cheapos. It'll save you a lot of headache when you're taking these uh, screws out because you don't want to be stripping them out and that kind of thing. So I'll just go ahead and unscrew this right here. This is the uh, idle, or used, or it's the idle on the carbureted bike. Okay, so up next we can go ahead and remove the float bowls. These are just held in by four screws. Again, a good screwdriver here goes a long way to make this a lot easier. These look pretty clean, um, so I probably won't have to do much more to this carb. It was running luckily, but if you have a carb that's dirty, um, you're definitely gonna wanna check through that. Clean all your jets, that kind of thing. That's good for them. So next I'll go ahead and remove the um, caps right here on the top. Um, there is an O-ring on, right, on these right here. It's a little bitty, I'm not sure if you can see it there. Yeah, there it is. Um, be careful when you're taking these off not to lose that little guy. There's a tiny O-ring I mentioned. Go ahead and pull the slides out. So we're gonna be changing the needles and nose later. Okay, now that we got the carbs disassembled, it's time to start modifying them. Um, I'll probably go ahead and pull the main jets out here. It's going to be these right here on top. I'm going to go ahead and pull the other jets out too just to see how they look. Make sure you don't have any problems anywhere. Um, be careful with these. They have a little um, spacer basically on them. A big help here is um, just making sure you have a good screwdriver again. Um, I know I keep saying it, but it's true. It makes a really big difference in this. Now I'm gonna remove the uh, small little pilot jets here. Make sure they look clean and ready to go. Yeah, not bad at all. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna remove here is the uh, main needle tubes. I'm not sure what they're called really. Um, make sure they're all clear. They've got little tiny holes in them there. Yeah, that looks good. Just go ahead and do all those real quick. All right, all those are removed, so it's time to go ahead and start modifying the carburetors. Okay, so the first thing that we needs to be done is I have to drill out these and pull out the plug so we can access the 
mixture screws. Um, they recommend five turns at first. So first we'll just go ahead and drill these out, try to keep as little metal in, or get as much metal as, as possible in the cards probably. One more. And that one didn't come out easily. So we use a splat screw. And there we are. Okay, now that we can access those, we can go ahead and set them. So go all the way in. Oh, that one's got a little junk in there. There we go. Half, one, one half, two, two half, three, three half, four, four half, five. One, two, three, four, Five. Half, one, one half, two, two half, three, three half, four, four half, five. Okay, so those are set initially. Um, up next is the air displacement holes in the actual needles right here so there are two little holes right there sorry it's not focused there we go two little holes right there so as for the medium drill that's gonna be this one right here hopefully I can grip that drill bit all right so you just uh well looks like I may need to take the go ahead and take the needles out first and they just pull out and then uh, it'll all drop through there like that. Keep all these on there for now, especially. You're gonna wanna need to know where those go. Okay. Okay, so the next thing to further increase the throttle response is I'm gonna clip a half an inch off the spring. Uh, the way I'll find that is I'll just spin it around till I get to about half an inch right there. Yeah, right there. Then we'll clip it just like that and uh, bend the edge down just a little bit so it doesn't catch on things. And it's that simple. And I'll bend that edge down. And last one. Okay, now our springs are ready. So just stick those back over here. So for my bike, it has a supplement here for um, for 2003 and up bikes, in order to have all four needles installed at the correct height, this procedure must be followed. The 2003 model uses two different thicknesses white nylon needles on carburetors one and four. So these. And carburetors two and three. Okay, so I'll go ahead and start taking these apart. Luckily, we're gonna have two extras since one's missing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure these just to verify. So yes, this one's three. This one's three. Okay. This one's also three. Also three. So, so I guess we'll start with this, since they're all threes. 
So position two, counting from the top. So this needs to go up one. Then it'll have a shim get. Okay, so it looks like the camera went dead. I'm not sure exactly when, but so I finished putting on all the spacers on here. Cause remember for the 2003, it has two different thicknesses. However, mine for some reason doesn't. It only has the three millimeter thicker spacers, none of the 2.5. Um, so install them in neat position two with one of the original shims under the nylon spacer. All right, so then you will need to install the original shim on top of each E-clip, one per needle. So basically got it ready to go. We just need to put these back on and pop them back in the, in the thing. There we are, right there. Oh, that was close. Just stick that right back on top there. And there we go. So I'll just keep doing that till we get them all in there. I'll just put that clip back in, or the holder, whatever it's called. There we are. And one more. All right. So we got the carb uh, needles ready to go. So now the only thing left to modify is drilling out that piece with the tiny little pin drill. So we'll have to come back to that because I don't have that yet. I'll have to go to the store.